This time on Air Show. Here we go. A superstar. Oh, yeah, baby. Give Super Dave. Son of a. Stage fright. It's like trying to be a rock star and you got Elvis standing there. A rookie pilot. Oh, I didn't quite get that nose up. Gets the flight of a lifetime. If you're going to be a show pilot, you got to think about the future. And the jet team. Don't touch anything. Battles breakdowns. Drop the door. And a grounded pilot. We got to start over. To fly their first show of the season. <laughs> In the foothills of the Rocky Mountains. Uh, I'd say we're about uh, four miles to the uh, east of the airport. It's practice day. We're going 23 5. Yep, you can go 123 5. A last chance for pilots to master routines before tomorrow's air show. If they don't practice, they don't fly during the show. Air Donna Flynn is the air boss. And the air boss is like the director of an air show. No, Victor Papa Mike, I want you to land. Take care of all of the controlling of the aircraft, keeping the crowd safe, and also the pilots safe. Air to traffic, pitch 260, tell Papa to take it off. Donna's just launched her headline act. Okay, boss, this is Sean. I'm 30 seconds out. Would you clear me in? You have the airspace. Hey, thanks. Go on to screen. Three, two, one. Sean D. Tucker is an air show superstar. Oh, yeah, baby! We're barnstormers. We're 21st century barnstormers. And so we're the last bastion of incredible freedom. He's also the highest paid performer on the circuit. Sean Tucker's so sought after. Having him at the show here is amazing. This guy's so good, he's in the Aviation Hall of Fame, right up there with Chuck Yeager. Up here. I love my job. <laughs> Tucker flies the most advanced aerobatic biplane in the world. I fly the Oracle Challenger. Engineers borrow design features from the most nimble radio-controlled airplanes. Challenger's oversized tail and elevator allow Tucker to do his signature forward flip. <laughs> On its wings, eight massive ailerons double the usual number, allow extremely fast rolls and turns. The control surfaces are so large, they're almost cartoon-like. Well, that allows me to do cartoon-like maneuvers. But the airplane has a dark side. It's extremely unstable. It's very, very difficult to fly because it's meant to do one thing, and that's tumble, twist, flip, and twirl in the sky. Millions of fans come to watch the legend fly. He's the idol of every aerobatic pilot in the world. But today, the 61-year-old superstar is struggling as he flies over one of the highest elevation airfields in North America. Ooh, that was good. That was cool. I'll do that again. An invisible enemy is making his airplane impossible to fly. You know how if you're walking on a mountain and you're up at high altitude, it's hard to breathe? <sighs> the engine's not breathing the same. It's a deadly phenomenon called density altitude. So that went bad. Aircraft perform best at sea level because the air is more dense and the engine can make more power. A loop that takes 500 feet to complete at sea level will take 800 feet in Airdrie. If Tucker doesn't adjust for the high density altitude, his routine will end in disaster. I don't want to die in an air show. I don't want to die in practice. I've had enough close calls in my life. Just east of San Francisco. Patriots check, speed break. Check this way just to make sure he looks good. Six black jets are back in the air 
after a long winter. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah, he's got your last class. The Patriots are a formation jet team flying the most complex act on the airshow circuit. A lot of pilots don't understand what it's like to fly three feet away from another airplane. You can be taken out by anyone on the team at any time. This training camp. I'm just trying to remember what maneuvers next. Didn't open up quite enough there. Patriots terminate, one terminate. Two terminate, three terminate, four terminate, five, six terminate. And I was right on the edge of my comfort zone for this time of year. There's a few little issues we gotta fix. We've gotta get out, burn a lot of fuel. We gotta start over. 12 years ago, former airline pilot Randy Howell spent his savings on an aging fleet of Soviet fighter trainers. Then he searched the skies until he found the best ex-military and civilian pilots around. A gamble? Heck yeah, this was a gamble. Randy's bet? His civilian team could be every bit as popular as the military teams. The Blue Angels and Thunderbirds. The difference with the military teams is money is no object. Blue Angels practice six days a week. Sure. We practice the day before a show. Is that jet going to be ready? I'm going to change the start box on it right now. The season hasn't even started, and already repair bills on the L-39s are piling up. We ended up 600 to 350. Randy's first chance to make some cash is just two days away. NASCAR has booked the Patriots to open a race. The stakes are high in something like this. Everybody's on edge. Generally, the winds out there are less than they are here at the airport. Adding to the pressure of the season opener, the team gets some bad news. Our number six pilot had surgery about two months ago. We thought he would get his medical back, but he has not. With number six grounded, the team is short a pilot. Makes sense. So I'm stepping in and fly in that position. I think we ought to call Igor and ask him. Two that. seasons ago, Randy quit flying the routine to work full time as team manager. It takes a long time to learn the skill, and you lose the skill very quickly. Randy must learn to fly the outer right slot. Blue out ready now. Then, when the jet team splits up, he'll have to pull off one of the team's most dangerous maneuvers. Ready. A thousand mile an hour game of chicken with another jet. You turn the wrong way, you're gonna turn into another jet. Back in Airdrie, Sean Tucker is ripping up the hot summer sky, trying to perfect a snap roll. It's just a corkscrew going down really, really fast. But the thin air, or high density altitude, is robbing performance from the half million dollar biplane. Airdrie's scary. It's scary because I've lost 20 to 25% of my performance. If you don't have power, you lose your margins of safety. If something goes wrong, I can't recover. It's taking a lot longer to climb. It's taking a lot longer to complete the maneuvers. Sean, 5x5, how you doing? Airboss Donna Flynn has told her pilots high DA is her biggest worry this weekend. This is my mistake. This is my fault. I should have been here yesterday training. Tucker knows what can happen if you push the margin of safety too far. I jumped out of my first airplane because I was an idiot. Total idiot and almost died. If I'm not safe, if I'm not capable, I won't do it. And if Tucker can't master the thin air, the show will lose its top draw. I don't have a high level of confidence right now. I'm not ready to fly a show yet. In California, the Patriots jet team is rushing to get their season started. The first show of the year is always the hardest to get spooled up. 
In two days, the six jets are booked to open a NASCAR race. The formation burns a thousand gallons of jet fuel every flight. It cost us tens of thousands of dollars to execute in practice. Patriots, fuel check one is 675. So to keep the fuel burn and the practice time to a minimum, Randy has built a dream team power back. of retired military airshow pilots. Four spread. Here we go. Before joining the Patriots, most of his pilots logged thousands of formation hours and hundreds of shows flying for either the Blue Angels, the Thunderbirds, or the Snowbirds. Flying for the Thunderbirds was a childhood dream. But that only lasted for two years, and then you're done. To do it again, how can I say no? This won't be the perfect flight. Let's just get through it. But today, with one pilot grounded. I'm not going to be um, aggressive. And the boss filling in. We'll keep the crosses a, a little bit wider than. Everyone's on edge. We talked about the abort calls. And no one more than Jet 5 pilot Robert Mitchell. Call sign Scratch. And I hit it. I trust him as an aviator, but in terms of doing this business, I'm going in guarded. I have to trust him with my life. Ready for shock? Are we clear on flight control? Yeah, I'm ready for flight control. You're up. Thanks for the airborne. Horizon. We've got millions of potential failures. Uh oh, hold on, baby. And all it takes is one. Or we're not pulling enough Gs. I just can't get in there. OK, let's do it again. I am not comfortable right now. An air show legend has just flown his toughest practice in years. The practice sucked. My first practice sucked. Sean Tucker has only one day left to conquer the difficult flying conditions. The real deal's coming up. It's showtime, and thank God, I think I get to practice twice in the box today. Tomorrow is show day. A box you check Super Dave holds this east here high. I have you. Super Dave, show boss. Show landing one, two. If there's anyone who wants to impress Sean Tucker, it's this guy, Super Dave Matheson. Welcome to Audrey. Super Dave is the hungry newcomer with sky-high ambition. I want to be up there with the best of the best. Dave's poured everything into his team and bought a half-million-dollar state-of-the-art aerobatic airplane. Right, with but last weekend, Dave's season got off to a shaky start. Yeah, I, you, I lost communication with my ground crew. In this business, that can kill you real quick. Dave's hoping for a better show here, given who he's sharing the stage with. He is the man. He is what we all inspire to be. That's the king right there. That's Sean Tucker. Anything going towards the earth, I want to stay a little bit high. I do a move in my act called Double Hammerhead. He invented that. So here I am going to try to do this move three times in my act, and I've got the godfather going to be watching it. I really hope I don't screw that up. He got a bad rap, and somebody's said some bad things about him to me. And then, it, and I never seen him fly. It's like trying to be a rock star and uh, you got Elvis standing there. <laughs> hey, let me say hi to I look over and I see Sean beelining it towards me. And I think, here it goes. Hey, I actually What's finally there? get to watch you fly. How are you, sir? Not fly the same show with you, but actually watch you fly. This is good. This is going to be fun. Yeah. He oh. is the man. It's huge pressure. I'm going to miss a lot of gates today because of the high DA. And if I missed it, then I'll just abort it. So I'll just pitch out and pull away. Density altitude is probably one of the number one killers of aerobatic pilots. In the energy here, it's the highest DA that we do all year. Go ahead, the airspace is yours. I've been waiting six months for you to say that. A high DA is like flying in pea soup. Nothing's crisp, nothing's fast. Everything takes longer. Chuck out of position, uh, forget the first double. Miss pit, turn around for a slider. The slider requires Dave to pitch the airplane on its side and still climb away from the ground. 
My elevator is my rudder, and my rudder is my elevator. It's awesome. I'm mean, going to do it right. With enough power, the fuselage should act like a wing and create lift. Here comes the fighter. But thin air is stealing performance from the aircraft, <laughs> forcing Dave to abandon his stunt. Ah, Son of a bitch! Things went well for both the first two maneuvers, and then the wheels fell off. I don't know if the nerves got to me with Sean being on the ground or what. Ugh. That whole uh, practice flight was a disaster. Oh. Oh, baby. In California, oh, we're not pulling enough G's. Two days before their first show of the season, I just can't get in there. The boss is still trying to learn the routine. Okay, let's do it again. Randy has to fly closest to jet number five, flown by scratch. I'm the new guy, and I don't know if Randy can jump into that position and just fly it like that. But as they land, it's Scratch who looks rusty. Oh, 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 oh. It's an uncomfortable feeling oh, being in this airplane. <laughs> 10 feet off the ground, he stalls the jet. And uh, it, it, it got me, uh, just, I didn't, I really didn't like that feeling of being in the stall. To fly, an aircraft must have enough air rushing over and under its wings to create lift. If the plane slows down too much, that lift under the wings disappears and the plane stalls. The rough rehearsal and bad landing mean only one thing. We need another practice. This is the first time I've ever seen this happen. The aging Cold War jets also need work. We need to make sure the jets are in tip-top shape to fly them in close to hundreds of thousands of spectators. So the back feels on. Jeffrey Jess is the man in charge of keeping the Soviet-built L-39s running. It's armed. Master of jet operations, he's best known by his call sign, Mojo. Mojo's the guy that has a plasma cutter in his garage. Kind of says it all, right? Valves open. A former NASCAR mechanic, Mojo went from high-end cars to high-end jets. I'm a tinkerer. I was the kid that grew up pulling the radio apart to find out what made it make sound. And he can figure problems out that nobody else can seem to figure out. And today, Mojo's trying to figure out why the G-suit in Jet 6 isn't working. There's air bladder in here, and they blow up and squeeze your, your legs. If it didn't, all the blood rushes out of your head down in your lower extremities, and you start blocking out. We want to try to test it and see if we can get it to work properly. Hey, boss, Sean's rolling. 24 hours before showtime. You have the airspace. And the headliner is back up trying to adapt his routine. High elevation and hot weather has made the air thin, robbing the airplane of performance and Sean Tucker of safety margin. I'm not being aggressive enough on the snap roll, trying to ease it in. Gotta figure it out, man. I push myself pretty aggressively because I'm searching for perfection in the sky. Never reached it, but you always got to try. Tucker has inspired a generation of young pilots. I've actually never seen him fly in person. I've just always seen him on the internet. And no one more than 25-year-old Stefan Trischak. Hopefully I'll fly like Sean Tucker one day. With his small aerobatic biplane and big dreams. Ultimate biplane, Fox Truck, Golf Yankee Delta is taxing onto one. Stefan says he won't quit until he becomes an air show pilot. There's a lot of very highly skilled pilots in this industry, but I want to be the best. He's not here to perform. Stefan's goal is to meet his air show idol. Sean Tucker is the benchmark of air show performing. It's a pleasure yeah, to meet you. Yeah, it's nice meeting you as well. I hear you got a pit. Well, it's an ultimate, so it's very similar to a pit. Sure, sure. I liked him right away. I thought, this guy's pretty cool. Hop in. All right, really? Well, there's nothing up here. 
No, that's two gas tanks and the smoke tanks up front. You got a lot to learn. <laughs> His skills are beginner skills. There's nothing wrong with beginner skills. So, should we go flying? Sure. Let's go. You ever flown an extra 300? No, I haven't. Nah, you're not gonna like it. Stefan will get a shot at the controls of Tucker's two-seat stunt plane. In my wildest dreams, I didn't think that I was gonna fly with Sean Tucker. Are you gonna wear this? Because it can't uh, go there. If I was to screw this up, that's not gonna look good. Is he my right sort of guy? I don't know yet. Rookie pilot Stefan is about to fly for his air show idol, Sean Tucker. I'm doing exactly what my mentors did for me, and it's called payback. But is he my right sort of guy? I don't know yet. OK, extra 772 Tango Alpha is rolling. Thank you. Airborne, baby. This is one of those lifetime opportunities. You, you can't buy an opportunity like this. If Stefan shows promise, he might land the ultimate mentor. OK, I have control. What's your altitude? Uh, 6,000. What did you enter at? I'm not sure. Yeah. Get in that habit. It'll save your life one of these days. You okay. didn't leave yourself any airspeed for the next maneuver. OK. If you're going to be a show pilot, you got to think about the future. My flying wasn't perfect. I did some bad rolls. Oh, I didn't quite get that nose up. I was... That's all right. Now you're 40 degrees off heading. You got a long ways to go. Yeah. But you're on the right track. Stefan's flying is far from perfect. But it's enough to win over the legend. He's got basic skills, and all you have to do is build on it. So that was fun. I'll go flying with you again. All right, thank you very much. That was an amazing experience. That was a lot of fun. In California, I matched you. The jet team is preparing for their season opener. It helped a lot. I was much. More. Team owner Randy Howell has been forced to step in for one of his six pilots. He has less than 24 hours to learn the complex routine. This is real important for me to pay real close attention. If he's at the end of the runway, that's where I'll fly. That's where I'll put the six ship. Randy may be the boss on the yeah, ground, but the know. boss in the sky is lead pilot Dean yeah, Wright, call sign Wilbur. And we will taxi out 300-foot um, spacing. I need to be absolutely familiar with every detail of the mission because I'm leading it. Wilbur flew with the US Air Force for 20 years and performed as a solo pilot with the Thunderbirds. And I left the Thunderbirds with a skill set that is really, really rare. And then this came along. Setting up for the yep. prey pass. Check Rojo off, mode one. Wilbur leads the team through the walkthrough, a full rehearsal on the ground. Loose smoke off. Rolling now. If you don't get this right on the ground, you won't get it right in the air. So I'm just going to be back here a 1,000 feet or something? No, you're, well, I don't know, but you're not going to be in front of the crowd. Well, I just came off of our crawls. What's going on next? The pressure of flying a new position is starting to wear on the boss. Randy is slow with the sequence, and their first show is only one day away. I can start to see Randy. You go out this way, turn back for Norris. Starting to ping a little bit. From this way, and I'm going to go rejoin on him for the Vic, right? Not yet, Randy. Oh, we're going to roll it first. No, you're not with my formation. You don't rejoin until after we finish the pass. In Airdrie, Super Dave has one last chance to adapt his routine for the thin, high air. I'm all about. So I'll check Dave's drilling tube. You get the DA wrong and do your math wrong, and you'll hit the dirt. He's also got a second chance to impress air show icon Sean Tucker. Sean Tucker's God. He's way up there for sure. With the legend watching, Dave attempts a maneuver that Tucker invented. The Sean Tucker special, the double hammerhead. I'll try the double. 2,090 down. The hammerhead is going vertical until it stops, pivoting the airplane 180 degrees and going straight down. Come on, come on, come on. Do it. Come on. 
actually jam the stick full forward to get it to bounce around a second time. It's the most unpredictable maneuver I do because it doesn't always work. The practice goes well. And check you'll just be landing, right? Go ahead. Uh, no cause for a huge alarm. But my left brake pedal seems to have gone very soft. Um, my uh, one pedal goes right to the floor, so I've lost my brakes on one side of the aircraft. He's got an issue. If he loses a brake, he loses steering. With no left brake and no steering, Dave could lose control of the aircraft. Fire trucks are coming your way. The worst case scenario for Dave, he could flip over and catch fire. Until I actually touch the runway and see what she's going to do to me, you don't really know what's going to happen. Let's see what happens here. If Super Dave damages the MX-2, his season's over. Makes you panic? Just please land. It's the only thing I could think. Land, land, stop. I think I lost my left brake here, and I don't have a cerebral tail wheel. Um, He's got an issue. In Airdrie, the fire trucks are lining up for an emergency landing. My left brake pedal seems to have gone very soft. Super Dave has lost brake pressure and his ability to steer the plane on the ground. If he doesn't have steering on that side, he would basically have no control and he would just pretty much veer off the runway. Let's see what happens here. Yeah. Until I actually touch the wheels on the runway, I don't know what's going to happen. Just please land. It's the only thing I can think. Land, land, stop. Dave will touch down going more than 100 miles an hour. A crosswind will make it difficult to hold the airplane straight on the runway. As soon as I made contact, I could feel I definitely had completely lost that one side of the brake. He's along for the ride. <laughs> no, I got it, Dave. Good job. Good job. Yeah, she's gone really soft. Must be really low or something. I'm we'll get her fixed up. Just as I did that, that last maneuver, I felt my foot go to the floor. I thought, uh-oh. We have the equipment to fix it. You want to push it back? On the ground, the brake problem turns out to be a simple fix. We have brakes again. I can steer the airplane. Dave should be back in the air in a matter of hours. This is, it's our first show. Things are sort of stacking up on us, so we need to really pay attention today. In two hours, the Patriots are scheduled to fly their first show in nine months. Roll spot. They managed to fly an extra practice. Pitching now. But Scratch is still working to train up replacement pilot Randy Howell. Smoke off. Randy's the owner of the team. He's the boss, but he hasn't flown this position. And I need to trust him with my life. And hit it. Everybody's on edge. If the other guys felt that I wasn't doing a reasonable job, I'm sure they would also pull the plug. 180. But pulling the plug hours before a high-profile show would be a public relations and financial disaster for Randy and the team. I need a G-suit adapter, too. While the ground crew checks every system on the jets. We got a bad O-ring in this. We got a 25 minute slot for a 22 minute okay. airship. Anticipation is building at the show site. A 20 minute flight away. A test of all the G-suits goes well. Clearing the crew to install the last ejection seat. And they have that screwdriver again. It's a job that can't be rushed. Underneath the seat, there's a huge rocket. There's always the risk of triggering one of the pyros. That would kill somebody. All right, just, just kind of help me with the weight of it. Got it. OK, guide it on the guides, right past those. OK, stop. Power it up. I thought we'd do this in about an hour, and I think it took four hours. Welcome to the Airdrie Regional Air Show. It's show day in Airdrie. Let's give a big wave and a round of applause. OK, y'all ready? And Air Boss Donna Flynn is waiting for her star pilot. He is one of the main reasons everybody's coming to this show. After his worst practice in years, Sean Tucker has made his decision. I feel great. Uh, good night's sleep. I'm going to go do an air show. And so the first one will be snaps down. Sean will have to modify his routine to account for the tough flying conditions. 
and I need to focus on flying in that DA. I know he wished he'd had more time to practice, but I'm glad he's flying. Okay, don't come within five miles unless you're talking to me. But Donna has a new problem on her hands. Calgary is one of our busiest airports in Canada, and it is right there. What we have is a fly, no fly zone. A big line drawn across the sky, and they don't cross that invisible line. Quite frankly, nobody wants to bust that line because they don't want to be looking nose to nose with the 737. Someone in the tower nine miles away didn't get the memo. Air boss to Harvard. Uh, go ahead, uh, Harvard. Jimmy, shut down. Uh, we have a, an issue here that we got to get resolved. There's nothing in the air right now, and I'm not talking to anybody out there at all. We had to stop the show, and it's almost like stopping a train. Until Donna can negotiate a deal to keep the passenger jets and performers away from each other, the air show is shut down. Now I'm stressed. Hello, Sky. Hey, I hate to be a pessimist, but the weather's not getting any better here, so I at least walk through the low show. Oh. Okay. The Patriots have two versions of their routine. A high show where the jets fly to 5,000 feet and a low show where the clouds push the act closer to the ground, flattening the maneuvers. If you go into clouds, you could become disoriented and you could be pointed at one of your teammates. Randy put all his work into learning the high show. The team didn't even consider the possibility of a low show. As we started getting more and more feedback about how the weather was deteriorating and a flat show was becoming more and more of a possibility, Randy is becoming a little more serious. The team gets another call from the NASCAR track. What you got now? Hey, uh, Randy's salt card, the timeline is expired. The FAA requires every air show pilot to carry a copy of their special license, a SAC card. But there's a problem with Randy's card. Do you have a new one, I hope? I've got a copy of it at the track there, if they need it. Copy of the new one? Of the new one. Uh, it's in the glove box of my truck. With time running out, team announcer Jughead races a mile and a half to get to Randy's truck. We got to get this paperwork to the FAA uh, immediately, because until they see it, they can't even take off. We're here to the pickup, so let's hope we find this. We don't find it, he don't fly. The Patriots' first show of the season is only minutes away. Oh, well, where'd they go? But they haven't even left the ground because of a paperwork snafu. We got a lot of stuff that's working against us, so let's hope we find this. At the show site, team announcer Jughead is rushing to get the boss's air show license. Insurance card. Still not find it, though. OK. In Byron, the ground crew readies the jets for takeoff. I don't like flying around crummy weather. And bad weather may force the team to switch to their low show, a performance they almost never fly. I'm praying for the high show today. Yeah? Huh? Perfect. One statement of aerobatic competency. Let's go get this photocopied, get this to the FAA. Yeah, I've got it. Randy's still going to have a little bit of anxiety, I know, getting into that check. At the track, the ground crew still hasn't decided if the team will fly a high or low show. I've uh, been relaying weather over to Wilbur off and on. It's breezy, and there is a chance of showers throughout the afternoon. Ultimately, you're going to get here, and we'll see what we got. I'm hoping we can fly a high show. Ground, how do you copy? Before he even starts his engine, Scratch accidentally yanks something from his ejection seat. Where's Mojo? Don't touch anything. There's nothing in the air right now, and I'm not talking to anybody out there at all. In Airdrie, the air show has just been shut down also because of a paperwork problem. 
Now I'm stressed. We're trying to work it out. The tower at a nearby international airport has been sending large passenger jets into Donna's airspace. We had to stop the show and renegotiate some of the airspace. And there'll be a limit on the key level helicopters ready to go. Negative, hold your position. But a dozen phone calls later, Donna has her airspace back. I thank you for all your help, too. To fire up the restless audience. OK, boss, shot rolling. Donna bumps up her starring act. It's showtime. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Mr. Sean D. Tucker. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> it's just noisy, and it's loud, and it's fast, and it's aggressive, and it's wah, 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 wah. Hardcore, down and dirty. See that? He pulled vertical to the outside snap, shoulder roll, and stopped it dead straight. And watch closely now as he stops and performs a forward flip. A maneuver performed in no other aircraft in the world today. So it just corkscrews on the way up. Stop it. Full forward stick. Just snap it. Dave's next. I don't think he's human. And the nerves are starting to build. There's a reason he's king. That joy that I have in flying and dancing in a machine, and the joy I see they have is indescribably intoxicating. This just came off my, my ejection seat. I don't know what it is. Don't touch anything. With showtime quickly approaching, Scratch accidentally pulled a pin in his ejection seat. If you're not looking, you put the strap for your leg through that handle, and when you go to tighten it, it yanks it out. Luckily, it turns out to be nothing major. OK, you're good. Jets should be off the ground in one minute. Start APU. Ready, now. The team may have to fly a low show, but no matter what, Altimeter 60 feet. they can't fly a late show. Five negative start. What happened? Negative start. Has, uh... Scratch's number five jet won't start. On the main engine, you're saying? Or a good turbine, and then uh, no engine start. OK, go to restart. Go through the gate before you hit the start button on the uh, main engine. Go to throttle cut off. Full throttle, then back to. Full throttle, back to idle. Push the engine start. Get Woody to monitor that AP really well for heat and fire. Drop the door. They've tried to get the engine going so many times. <laughs> The starting system, known as the APU, is now dangerously hot. Drop the door. At the Airdrie Air Show, Super Dave is up next. Go to position, let me know when you're ready. Welcome. Sean Tucker's performance is a hard act to follow. There's the air show smoke. I know he was on the ground watching. I tried to get that out of my head as best I could. A little speck in the sky, Super Dave Matheson. 15 G. Demonstrating the incredible roll rate of the MX-2. You just try to get a little extra smash for every maneuver and be ready for that mushiness. But now, he's got an extra handicap. On that windsock, it's uh, definitely like a quartering crosswind. On crowd wind can be tricky, especially if it picks up at altitude. It'll blow a performer way off his show line and over the crowd, and we don't want that. The show line marks a safe 500-foot distance from the audience. Show line. Dave broke the line at his last show in Hamilton. I've actually never done it. And he can't afford to do it again. If you consistently do that, they'll scrub you. They'll cancel you from the show. A little bit on crowd at altitude there, Dave. OK, here we go. Okie dokie. And come back down to our show center, just up off the ground. Straight down that show line. Up the side down, hanging from the strap. Super Dave, show box. Watch the line, OK? Oh, boy. Just be aware, I do have a little bit more wind now. A strong wind is picked up right in the middle of Super Dave's air show. And remember to respect that no-fly line threatening to blow his MX-2 off course towards the crowd. Upside down, hanging from the strap. Dave comes close to the no-go show line, but doesn't cross it. Super Dave's MX-2, you are smoking. 
Super Dave's conquered the dangers of high density altitude. I love it. And he's done it in the presence of a living legend. I think Sean Tucker saw me as focused as I could be. I don't know if I'd say I had my best, but I know it'll take me a long time to get to his level. That was some pretty damn good flying. I really enjoyed watching it. I was very pleasantly surprised what a pro you are. Thank you. You know, I mean, and I really do think you're going to make it. Thank you very much. Welcome to our world, brother. I'm really, I wouldn't say that if I didn't think you got it. Thank you got it. I know that felt really good. I mean, it's not, that's your idol talking, right? So it's, that's pretty cool. My goal is to be a little bit better than Sean Tucker one day. At their home base, the Patriots are strapped in and ready to go. Open the canopy. When one of the six jets refuses to start. What do you think about taxi and I'll call out? Okay, let's go ahead and taxi out and uh, have number five catch us. Patriots, Chalk. To make their time slot, the Patriots must launch now. Two, one, ready to check. The team has to leave Jet 5 pilot Scratch behind. If the broken jet can't be fixed, there's only one option. Randy's ace in the hole, the backup Jet 7. We carry a spare airplane now, a seventh jet, to keep our reliability up. Here we go to the backup. But switching jets takes time. Just go ahead and get ready, Scratch. What's powering up? We're going to be pushed a little bit. We had to swap one of the airplanes. We may be a minute or two late. There's not a second to spare. Scratch still has to do his pre-flight check before he can take off. Everybody gets in a hurry at this point. And if you don't slow down, you're going to make a mistake. Ten minutes out. The other five jets are off the ground, and it's down to the wire to get Scratch in the air. Are you with us? Taxi, no. How long till the uh, show starts? Scratch pushes his jet to max power, 500 miles an hour. We got about uh, less than 10. They go on the TV schedule. The schedule here is all based on green flag at 1 o'clock Eastern time. It's minutes from showtime, and there's only five jets en route. How much do they need? I need to tell them how much time we need. Airbell L39 is en route to the TFR over Ray Sonoma. Two minutes to go. So we're sitting out here just trying to pick up a visual on them. There's still one jet missing. Five major leads. We're uh, level at uh, 4,500, waiting for your rejoin. Then, just two miles from the raceway, hey, there he is. Scratch joins his team. Five, six, seven, nine, four. So everybody down on the track, are you ready for a little bit of air show action? Moses had raised the staff and the clouds had parted and the angels were singing and the doves were loose and we had this giant hole of good weather. Major, high show. Two, three, four, five, six. Speeds today of up to 500 miles an hour. What a beautiful sight here in the skies over Sonoma. Ooh la la, yeah, baby. For 25 minutes, the team flies a flawless routine. Here we are, smoke right down low. One from the left, one from the right. 50 feet of separation, smoke! Scratch and Randy execute a picture perfect head on cross. Nice. Turn back now. Crew out, ready now. This is your Patriots Jet Team. It's been an honor to share our love of aviation with you, great race fans. Nice job, guys. Good show. Randy is a smart guy. <laughs> that decision to buy that extra jet just saved this show. Yeah, get the first show out of the way. Yeah. Aviation is my life, and that's what makes all of this worthwhile. I live to fly the next day. Next time on the air show. Oh!
A close scrape. What is going on with these guys? Rubs the wing walker no, raw. I went ballistic. An emergency. Everybody stay off this radio. Pushes the Patriots to the breaking point. Negative on the landing gear. He has one chance at this. And Super Dave? Power off. Oh. Attempts a super stun. Yeah! 